April 18, 1775, Paul Revere, a renowned silversmith, is better remembered as a folk hero of the American Revolution who this night in 1775 made a dramatic ride on horseback to warn Boston area residents of an imminent attack by British troops. 1861, Colonel Robert E. Lee turns down an offer to command the Union armies. Because of his reputation as one of the finest officers in the United States Army, Abraham Lincoln offered Lee the command of the federal forces. Lee declined and tendered his resignation from the Army when the state of Virginia seceded on April 17, arguing that he could not fight against his own people. 1906, at 5.13 a.m., an earthquake estimated close to 8.0 on the Richter scale strikes San Francisco, California, killing an estimated 3,000 people as it topples numerous buildings. The quake was caused by a slip of the San Andreas Fault over a segment of about 275 miles, and the shock waves could be felt from southern Oregon down to Los Angeles. 1942, U.S. Lieutenant Colonel James H. Doolittle led 16 B-25 bombers on a spectacular surprise attack on Tokyo and other Japanese cities. The Doolittle Raid, as it became known, caused little damage but boosted Allied morale. 1943, in what's called Operation Vengeance, U.S. Army Air Force P-38G fighter aircraft from Kokum Field and Guadalcanal ambush and shoot down the transport bomber aircraft of Isoruku Yamamoto, the commander-in-chief of the Imperial Japanese Navy and mastermind behind the Pearl Harbor attack. 1945, during the U.S. invasion of the Japanese island of Okinawa in World War II, American war correspondent Ernie Powell was killed on nearby Ai Island by Japanese gunfire. 1956, abandoning her Hollywood career, American actress Grace Kelly wed Rainier III, Prince of Monaco, in a civil ceremony. An opulent religious ceremony took place the following day. 1980, Zimbabwe achieved independence from the United Kingdom. 1999, Canadian ice hockey player Wayne Gretzky, considered one of the game's greatest players, skated in his last NHL game. 2012, American television personality and businessman Dick Clark, who was a longtime host of American Bandstand from 1957 to 1987, died in California. 2018, Black Panther is the first film shown at a commercial cinema in 35 years in Saudi Arabia as cinemas are reopened. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, April 18th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.